Hi, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. This is what we live for, the Stanley Cup Finals. Game one, let's go. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The quest for Lord Stanley's bunt continues right here tonight, and we are underway. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Pedersen. Hammers it on net! Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Vancouver's won the face-off. Scores! Well, that's one way to silence the crowd. It is. You don't want to play from behind on the road, chase the game, and they've done a terrific job here early in the first period getting the game's first goal. We talk about face-offs a lot, and I'm not so sure that the percentages really matter sometimes. It's where you win them. Here's an offensive zone win that leads directly to this goal. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Shuts him down. Chesterkin's able to angle that save over to the corner, so there's no rebound. And it's a quick pass to Kreider. Moves the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Shen's taking it from his own end. Along the half wall with the puck. Shot on net. Turned aside with the glove by Chesterkin. Oh, my goodness, what a hit. Quick shot, nothing doing. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Takes the feed. Slides it to Matrano. Huge hit on the play. Besser's got it across the line. Let's the wrister fly. Scores! That's back-to-back, -back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Vancouver's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Canucks win possession here in the open ice. They go on the attack through center. New York's got it along the wall. Couldn't complete the pass. Vancouver's got it. He's got a step. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break, and it's in the net. He's so calm on this breakaway, he's got his head up the whole way. He picks his spot, snaps it by the goalie. He can really give his teammates a boost when he scores, guys. He's got that four-liter superstar ability. And just look how pumped his teammates are for him. Let's him fly from the point! That eyes him on the play! Here he is on the backhand! He scores! What a run of play this has been. Four straight goals for them. They have not taken off the gas at all. Really good backhand shot here. He got into the low slot. And really tough for the goalie to read where that puck's going. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The Canucks are on the cusp of making this a blowout, leading by four. Off the post and in the net, they score! He beat him with the quick release there, James. That thing hits the post, sure, but it's his release that gets that puck away too quickly for the goalie. I always found this to be a real difficult spot to put a player into. You bring in a relief goaltender, he's cold, now he's got to keep the game static. He doesn't provide the save here. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Horvath's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Quick shot. Oh, what a stop. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Pedersen's third eye zone ability means he can distribute the puck so well. Panarin's good at shooting and skating simultaneously, guys. 
His make it snappy zone ability makes it hard to read a shot when he's in motion. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Here we go, one man rush. Whoa, it's in the back of the net. He scores! The man advantage break is sprung here and they executed perfectly. Two different views from either side of me. One coach not happy they gave up the man advantage break. The other one's pretty pumped with how they executed it. The Canucks win it. Puck picked up by Shen. Cuts into the paint. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Here's a chance in front. Taken by Pedersen. Hammers the shot. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Gorgiev's nerves can settle a bit now. It's his first appearance of the playoff. And he save there. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here's a chance! Scores! And that one going off the defender for an own goal! Vancouver's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Hammers it on net! And that's blocked away. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. Breaks the bell off the post. The Canucks continue to hold control of the game, but this could be a lot more comfortable if they weren't so unlucky around the net. He scores! That's the hat trick! Little tweak to the crowd here on the road as he gets his third. An outstanding game so far. Well, that didn't work. He tried a big glove stop. Doesn't get it, but I don't think he saw much of it anyway with the traffic in front of him. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. The Canucks win the faceoff. Rips it from the point, and that's turned aside by Georgiev. New York's looking to break out. Trying to engage a little physicality here. Slides the puck over. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Hey fans, now is the time to pick up your team calendars. You can pick them up at Kiosk 144 on the lower level. Sheet of ice, period two is set to go. A one sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Vancouver's had their own way with this game right from the time the puck hit the ice the first time. He scores! Brock Besser steps up big time. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Vancouver's on cruise control now, is that fair to say? It is, and it looks like they're gonna try and get another couple of goals here. They're not letting down at all. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. New York's looking to break out of their own end. Feeds it to Fox. Vancouver's got it now. Goalie with a stop. Gorgiev's really had a difficult time tonight. He's not looked comfortable. Even in warm-up, I thought he was a little bit shaky. He makes a good save there to keep his team somewhat in the game. Taken along the wall by Shen. He scores! This might be a where-were-you moment for so many of these fans. Man, again, he gets a chance on goal, and he makes no mistake about it. 
You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. Vancouver's offense is showing no signs of letting up in the second. I've never liked when a team takes their foot off the gas pedal. If it's your night, go score. Go feel good about yourself. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Vancouver's won the draw. And that's broken up. Driving right to the front. And he elects to explore his options. Here he is from Whoa. the slot. Scores! This is getting insane. It is crazy how often the puck tonight seems to end up on his stick. And then when it's on his stick, it ends up in the net next. What a game. The Canucks have really opened things up here in the second. It's getting out of hand. They've run rough shot over their opponent here in this period. It seems like they're going to score every shift. New York's going to look up at the clock and see their half a game is left. I don't know if they've got another gear, but they better find it fast, or this is really going to get ugly. The Canucks ready to go on the attack. Horvat's got it along the wing. Cuts to the front. Answers the call big time. What a stop by Georgiev. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Vancouver's won the draw. No go to work. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. There's another stop. He's like a backboard in there. Bang, bang. The puck's off him twice. He makes two stops. Read that perfectly with the poke check. New York's got it in the neutral zone. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Skates to the crease. Stones him in front. Yeah, I hated when I missed chances like this, James. You don't get me. Oh, what a birthday present that is as he scores. I guess in the great context, it doesn't really matter, but it does feel great to score on your birthday. I thought he was going to go five-hole there, but he changed the angle of his blade and went low stick side. Beat the goaltender clean. The Canucks seem to be turning this into a pad the stat night. Those are always fun. I mean, if you're on this side of it. Yes. If you're on the other Good side, point. no fun allowed. And still lots of time here in this second period. Puck scooped up by Pedersen. Moves into the slot. He scores! What a goal! He doesn't waste any time getting this puck off his stick. The snapshot beats the goaltender from the high slot. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Miller's won it. Unloads from the blue line. Makes it look easy with the stop. That's gonna hurt. I don't care how much equipment you have or how good the mask is. That thing's coming 80 plus miles an hour. That's gonna hurt. Puck grab by Miller. Drives to the paint, he scores! Sometimes it's just your night. He's got his second goal of the game. This is a good evening for him. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot, I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The Canucks probably don't want this period to end here, Razor. Nobody wants a birthday party, Dan. Those things are fun. <laughs> good boy. So you want to keep going here. And now it's grabbed by Myers. Here it is. Point shot. Tremendous stop by Georgiev. Pretty solid stop, and the puck goes into the corner to safety. Myers has the puck against the half wall. Looks to set up along the point. Tries to the crease. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. When your team wins, you win $10 off at Bob's. Bring tonight's ticket to any local Bob's Sporting Goods for a coupon that's good for $10 off your next purchase of $50 or more. Tickets must be redeemed within a week of the game.
Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. 20 minutes to go here in regulation to what has been a very one-sided affair. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? New York's players have been a turnover machine tonight. Every time they have it, it seems like they force it into an area where they lose it. They lose the puck. They're losing the game. Vancouver's got possession at center. Cutting to the slot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Rocks him on the play. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Scores! That's three! I have nine in these games. It is such a cool thing to score three. You feel so good about yourself. Well, I can think of about four different things he could have done with the puck than that. That turnover is costly as it ends up in his own net. Vancouver's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been nonstop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. Scooped up along the wall by Miller. Broken up by Lindgren. The Canucks have it in the offensive zone. Backhander in front. Oh, it's denied by Georgiev. They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't fight. Scores! And that's the hat trick! To get it done on the road is a really special accomplishment. You're dealing with checkers, you're dealing with the line matchup, and it doesn't matter where you are, three is a great night. Once this puck bounces off the goaltender the first time, the shooter's the next guy in position. The D can't turn quick enough and he puts it away into the net. The official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Here's a shot! Puts it in nowhere spill, way too high. I'm assuming he thinks he's gonna score, but he's 60 feet out, that's way too high. Takes it to the front! And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Canucks gain control of the puck. Wow! He scores! The goalie's not going to like this, mainly because that turnover right in front of him doesn't allow him to get set. He gets beat down low. Vancouver's on fire tonight, and they show no signs of slowing down in the third. This has been almost a perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. Unscores! Wow! Man, you've said that a lot with this guy. It's like every time he gets on the ice, the puck ends up in the back of the net. What a night. The offensive zone faceoff gives them the jump on puck possession. Shortly thereafter, it's in the net. That faceoff is the key, though. The Canucks have been all over them tonight, and it continues here in this third. They haven't taken their foot off the accelerator for one second tonight. I've been really impressed how they've dominated this game. Here's a shot, and that's denied by Georgiev. Snaps one here in the slot. Stick save, and I think that one off the shaft of his stick there. I can dig it. Puck picked up by Kreider. Vancouver's defense has been exceptional. They've defended well, kept the front of the net clean, and whenever there's a rebound, they get it out of there fast. Side. Whoa! He scores! And a big one at that! Oh, the rookie comes through in his first playoff year with his first playoff goal. Oh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Rips it from the blue line! He scores! Again! Yeah. You think after three, you might let down? Not him. They keep coming. We talk about face-offs a lot, and I'm not so sure that the percentages really matter sometimes. It's where you win them. Here's an offensive zone win that leads directly to this goal. Vancouver's won it. 
Put that stick away, man. It's in hot. What an outstanding game. Just look at this face-off play here on the replay, James. They're set, hoping they can win the draw, and when they do, the wheels are in motion that leads to this goal. Vancouver's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro School of Hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. Rips it, and he says no! Picked up along the boards by Dickinson. Here he is in front! He scores! Well, the old double dip makes this a fantastic night for you. You know it's your night, you're feeling it, and now he's got two. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Canucks seem to be playing right to the final whistle here tonight, Ray. Yeah, everybody's having fun, everybody's getting points, and they are steamrolling their opponent. Blast the point! Way off target! Kreider's moving the puck through his own zone. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. The Canucks walk the line. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Drives it to the crease! He scores! Two goals on the night for him. They've really been effective forechecking. A couple of breaks, and now he's got two. Well, that's a really good shot. The goalie's down, and the puck goes up over top of him on the backhand. Vancouver's only continued to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. From the point! Great stop by Georgiev. The Canucks play it near the point. Rips it from the blue line, and will get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. And there's a look at hockey's holy grail in the house. Uh, in the building with a chance to be presented tonight. That thing will be polished up and ready to go. Carla Bade is standing by with who had the better night. Pedersen's been great at generating offense, and I've been impressed with his game in this one, guys. The Canucks win the draw. Miller's really... He scores! You talk about memorable nights. This has to be right up there. Man, it's like he's at practice. Every time he shoots the puck, it ends up in the back of the net. What a game for him. He pounded this low stick side. The goalie can't get his pad on it. It's in the net. The Canucks continue to rack up the goals here in this third period. They can do no wrong. It doesn't seem to matter who's on the ice. They're the better team. Hammers one from the point. Oh, and there's a great save by Georgiev. The Canucks look around near the point. Hammers a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Besser's got the puck near the back end. Quick shot. Whoa. Scores. That looked like that bounce. This puck changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. Vancouver's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Answers the call with a big save. New York's got it in their own zone. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Miller's one possession. Hammers one! On fire! Sometimes it's just your night. You shoot the puck, it goes in the net. He's had an unbelievable evening. Everything today is the focus on being quicker, but once in a while, you get to move into a slap shot, and he powders this past the goalie.
Vancouver's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. What a save by Georgiev. Really smooth stop here as he deflects this puck into the corner out of danger. And that goes off a player. Just seconds away now as they are set to hoist the Stanley Cup. And there it is. Never gets tired of saying this. Your Stanley Cup champions. What a performance. They were on this series. They were detailed. They laid out a plan and they followed it as tightly as they could. They deserve to hoist them up. Congratulations to the champions. No shame in getting to the Stanley Cup, but can you take solace in winning a conference championship? Yeah, uh, yes, you can, but it's not going to be the same. Look at how happy the guys are that have won. They went all the way to the wall, and they found a way across the finish line. What an amazing achievement to win the Cup. Still one of my favorite traditions in all the sports here, Ray. It's a fantastic way to wrap up the series. It's an amazing way that the players show respect to each other, and this is the true wrap-up of this Stanley Cup Final. What an impressive run, and I think well-deserved to be named playoff MVP. I've always noticed that the player that gets named Conn Smythe Trophy winner is always a little uneasy because it's such a team win, the Stanley Cup, of course, that the Conn Smythe feels a little awkward in this spot. It's also huge. It's a giant trophy. of being one of the leaders here. You get to collect the Stanley Cup first. Yes, but I think the most important thing is these guys will be tied together forever. Their names will be on that trophy. They'll have reunions, and it won't be who held it first. It'll uh, be but that we all okay, have Ray. Dibs are okay. Sure, but it's not going to matter in 10 seconds. <laughs> Ray, you're right down there at the ice. Give me a sense of the emotion. Well, everybody's just battling away. That it's like nobody's really making any sense. They're so excited, hug on to each other. They're looking at the trophy. They can't wait for their turn to carry it around the ice. I got goosebumps even up here. The team picture. This is something that 99 started, did he not? Yeah, I believe it was his last year in Edmonton where they won. Called everybody together. What an unreal photo to have.